Hello everyone, it's me type again, and we're back here in Hogwarts Legacy. So, we completed some more quests and stuff. Uh, we got Herbology class we gotta do. And I think we gotta do... These are the side quests, alright. We don't have anything else to collect, I don't think. Alphos. Uh, Lucan. Time to prove your dueling. Uh, okay, so he wants a duel. What about her? Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I'd like to talk to you about Rockwood and Harl. It might be best to do so outside the castle. Alright, so I need to talk to her about that dude that's looking for me for some reason. Uh, beast. Quest items. Notes. Resources. Alright. I'm still trying to get used to all these menus and stuff. Uh, so we don't have any new gloves. Edwear and defense is a lot better. I guess we'll go with that. Next, we just got a basic scarf. No point in even putting it on. Ooh, we got a defense, no upgrades applied. This lets you put traits in, but I'm not going to mess around with that yet. Outfit. Uh, we'll use the blacksmith. All right. So let's head out of here and we will do our quest. So I'm not mistaken, we got to go to Herbology and we need to go to Oceans today. Alright, we know. I already looked into that, but I don't want to do the side quest stuff just yet. I want to go here. Yeah, all right. So I'm supposed to go down there to see her, but like I said, I want to do herbology first. Uh, no, I need to go back to the map. Yes, herbology class. Okay. Let's go do that. Because it's supposed to have that in potions now. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. I don't want to right now. I got class to go to. Oh, uh, we gotta go. Wait, why is it that not light up? Oh, must be below us or something. Alright, let's head down here. Ugh. What am I missing? Akio. Hit that page. And let's head through here. 
All right, uh, gotta go downstairs. Whoa. This building's cool. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What? I can take stuff from the school. All right, let's uh, start this quest. morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Uh. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Uh. Flash back the chamber secrets here. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. <laughs> oh, right. Oh. Why? There it goes. Wasn't letting me click it for some reason. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Oh, I enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Um. Is fancy or roses? All right, so I gotta go over here. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. All right, so we interact with this. Dittany. And it yields five and takes 10 minutes. All right. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, 
what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yeah. All right, so... Oh, there he is. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll yeah. be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. All right. So we're going up here and around. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, have a... Here we are. Home Ooh. of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Didn't mean to cut him off. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost... right. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Well, how do I throw an item? Oh, hold left button and tap R. All right, so now I just look at that. Oh, I'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants, not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone. Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Hmm. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Well, Take your time. I'll see you back in class. First. Oh, that one's gone. Let's grab some more of these guys, just in case. Oh, wait. Uh, Revelio. Take that field guide. Uh, let's collect this stuff as well. And I've seen a chest on the way over here, so I'm going to try to grab that as well. Funny. Grab some of this other stuff. You never know what we're going to need. And let's head back to the class. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. All right. Oh. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As am I. 
Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. All right, so we got our first herbology class done. Oh, uh, let's grab some more leaves. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. Oh. Uh, that goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. All right. What else do we got? I think that's all that we can pick up for right now. Can we do anything with this yet? Nope. Still growing. Alright, so let's look into our other stuff. Is this sharp? Yeah. We'll go to potions so we can learn how to make stuff. What are you up to now? Nothing. Going to my next class. All right. So we got to head up here. Through these doors. Down here? Nope. Oh yeah, it's on the mini map. Never seen devil something in there. I just know it. I'm happy to read it. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Oh, uh, perhaps I'll if have, I have the time. I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Now, I do believe I've seen somebody me if you stumble on something do this one before. Street. Pretty sure We're you can just video, and you got to go find the butterfly. Uh, wherever that was, I think it's down here. Oh. Oh, over here, I think. Oh. Uh, Revelio. Oh, but there's a page. We'll take that. Oh, uh, there is a door. That we have to mess around with. Alright, so there's that. Nobody can do a hex like me. And I swear. Where was that? Do you happen to have any Valerian fruit? I really want to see that before I stop. Like I could have or I remember it being Rebellion. Ooh, a secret passageway. Blue solar protective goggles. But it was like a butterfly somewhere. Trying to remember. Someone's bound to solve the riddle of the empty painting soon. Uh, guess we could worry about that another time. I suppose but what is the thing that was over here? Oh dear, I shall get in trouble for this. I don't know.
Alright. Did I even interact with this at all? Revelio. All right, we'll deal with that later. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and retract potion class. All right, so I need to go down over here. Maybe Auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Blackwood thought your Aura might be able to ask about the dead. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. All right, let's start potions. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Interesting. Seems kind of easy to do. What is he making? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Cool. My parents considered keeping me right. home from school this year. After Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yeah. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. 
Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Yeah, I don't want to. I have enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Your potion should not. Oh, I need the fur. And oh, there's the feather. And the egg. There's a chest. Pick up the letter too. Uh outside. Interesting. I just don't want to go and get myself in trouble for no reason. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. All right, let's make another potion. So we need to do the doors potion. That takes thirty seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Uh. Dragon duck. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Yeah. But. Oh, can we make any more of these? No, we need. Oh, the juice. All right. So what do we do now? Oh, we gotta talk to Professor Sharp. I brewed an Edoras potion, as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Yes. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Interesting. So I need a clump, juice, and ditney leaves. All oh, lots of them. Alright, so now we need to look into our other quest. Let's go over and talk to her now. I think we're already tracking this, right? Yeah. So this is going to be quite the walk. Oh, my robes are going to reach from Gareth's inspiration to the rest of the I've always said that travel broadens... So we got to go up. And then down. Okay. Revelio. Oh, that's really far away. 
Um, I guess we could just run over. Ooh, is that Hogwarts or not Hogwarts? Hagrid's hut. Or supposed to look like it. Um. I don't want to be going into people's houses. I do want the Blue nice Network you, stuff, though. Friend. That's actually really far away. And collect those flowers. Oop. Hey, let's, uh... Get the Moonstones. Uh, we need to go up here, apparently. Grab more moonstones. Ooh, mushrooms. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about gathering more mushrooms just yet until I figure out what I need them for. We'll pick up the moonstones though. Just the mushrooms don't seem that rare, so I seem to be able to find them all over the place. So I don't want to waste a lot of time gathering them up. Ooh, there's another blue thing here, and I already got it. What are you up to now? Alright, I should probably get used to trying to use the flu network. Instead of running everywhere. Just a habit though of just running. This looks intriguing. Intriguing. Indeed. Right, why'd she make me run all the way over here to talk to her? Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. All right, what do you need? Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I guess so. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Oh, this could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but... Perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Interesting. Be on your guard. 
All right. On another adventure, are we? I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? All right, so there's something going on over there. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Oh, let me see your wares. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? A hundred apiece. Base swing flies. Could sell some of my stuff. I mean, I'll have no trouble might selling as well. this. Thank you. Uh, we'll sell some of this other stuff as well. Because why not? Alright, uh, we might actually use that. Uh, we'll sell all this other stuff that we probably won't use. Uh, scholar's robes. I'll just sell that for now. I hope to see you again Ooh. sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? I uh, want to see your. What do you have for sale? I want to buy those potions. What can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. What's that one? Damage, limited amount of time, and that's the defensive potion. I hope right. to see you again sometime. I just wanted some more healing potions in case I get into a situation where I need them. Uh, let's actually look into our equipment real quick. And we'll swap out our glasses. Oh, uh, and what's in our inventory? The new stuff we gathered. And then... Oh, these are the things that we've been picking up. Collections. Alright, I don't think this actually will give us anything. It's just seeing this stuff. Alright. Let's head over here and see what this is all about now. They must have come this way. Think! Uh-oh. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Found ya! Let me also... What are you doing? Oh, oops. Oh. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. You can try. All right. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this. Tell Rook to find me himself. Clumsy little incendio. You're a bit dodgy with your skills, aren't you? Why not? Is that the best? Aha! Back for more. Knew you 
were still hanging about. Release me! Insane. Nice try! The heck? been accosted in such a manner then so close to hogwarts they really want me for some reason are you all right i am thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills care to tell me why two ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you ashwinders victor rookwood's thieves and extortionists his little cronies they seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. That's interesting. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. That is interesting. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Well, let's see what this is all about. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Mallow sweet. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Uh, hop off. Accio. No. What about? And we get incendio. There we go. Beard. The flames make the pyre sink. 
had to be closer to do it. All right, gone. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Incendio. Uh, oh, there's more than one. There we go. Had to get all of them. I didn't know there was more than one. Take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Well, that was interesting. And we do seem to have a bunch of light quests and stuff we can do here. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. What is this? Oh, sk skipping rocks, but it doesn't actually show. Oh, there it does, a little bit. Are these all right let's use our flu network handy resource indeed your field guide i'm most pleased to be included all right let's go to hogwarts map uh Portrait. Hmm. I can't remember how to use the flu network. Exploration. Free storage for gear. That's actually nice. All right, what do we got? Inventory, gear, all settings, quest, map. Go to map. Uh, I want Hogwarts map. All right, we'll go to Actually, go to the common room. Or we want to track that, but we'll uh, travel with the flu network. But before I go do this, I will probably go ahead and call it here for this video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed, and hope to see you in the next one.